Hi, this is Naomi from Lexington Public Library. April is National Poetry Month, so I'd like to share a poem with you. I found this poem at poets.org and am using it with their permission. It's by Naomi Shihab Nye, and it's called Kindness. Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment, like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go so you can know how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. How you ride and ride, thinking the bus will never stop. The passengers eating maize and chicken will stare out the window forever. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel where the Indian in a white poncho lies dead by the side of the road. You must see how this could be you, how he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Before you know kindness as the deepest thing, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. You must wake up with sorrow. You must speak to it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows. And you see the size of the cloth. Then it is only kindness that makes sense anymore. Only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to gaze at bread. Only kindness that raises its head from the crowd of the world to say, it is I you have been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere, like a shadow or a friend. The poem Kindness can be found at poets.org. I encourage you to check out their website. They have lots of great stuff including something they're calling Shelter in Poems, where they're asking folks to contribute poems that are meaningful to them at this moment um, and to share the, that in social media. So check that out. For those of you who write poems or might want to try writing a poem, I'd like to share a writing exercise from the book, The Practice of Poetry by Robin Bain and Chase Twitchell, who are allowing us to use it in this video. Uh, the exercise I want to use today is contributed by a poet named Dana Gioia, and it's titled Lyric Poetry. Um, it talks about meter. If you don't know what meter means, just don't worry about it and see what happens. This is meant to happen over two days, so your challenge for day one is Take the melody to a popular song and without writing any words down on paper, compose new lyrics for it. Your new words should fit the old melody exactly, using the same rhyme scheme and meter, but your lyrics should either tell a different story or explore a different mood. Compose the new words entirely in your head by singing them to the original tune. Don't cheat by writing them down. Perform the new lyrics by singing them, no matter how bad your voice may be. That's day one. On day two, write down the lyrics you composed and evaluate them solely as a poem, without any reference to the original tune. Revise and condense the song lyrics into a written poem. Try to maintain as much as possible of the original metrical scheme. If you complete this exercise and want to share what you've written, we would love for you to post that in the comments section below this video. Um, I hope everyone is staying healthy at home and thanks so much for watching.